start streaming and we're gonna we're gonna talk to the world we're gonna look at chat all right so if we want to see if anybody wants to chat with us they can come and chat okay so uh hi i'm jessa barbara so you're barbara and you're friends with christine or you used to nanny her kids i did our own christine and you just showed up here with this is your iphone success so tell me what happened to your iphone success it was um, fine yesterday or it was uh monday morning i was visiting my daughter in new jersey mm -hmm. it was on the vanity uh, i finished up what i was doing went to pick it up but I've gotten clumsy in my as I'm aging. Oh I, God, is that what, is that what happens after vision and then teeth? We're all starting to like have yeah, to go Yeah, it's weird. It's I, like I, the I like age. knock wine glasses over very easily. Mm -hmm. So anyway, as I went to pick it up, instead I swiped it instead, yep. and it it missed the space in between the vanity and the toilet, but then kind of jumped over and plopped in the toilet. I so grabbed you it like, instantaneously. Right. Um, took off the cover, dried it as but best I could shook it a little bit and then went on the internet and what should I do now right and so it was you go working. to the well, internet the thing was, it do? was working right it was still on it was working I go wow I dodged a bullet right yeah so I because when you grab it out so fast you're like ah nothing happened it's yeah really I, I yeah I, I really dried I took the case off that didn't look wet yep. but I wiped it out and then I uh, so you go on the internet and you say what do I do with my wet phone? Yeah, pump? yeah. And what, and what did it tell you, or where did you well, land? Well, um, I looked at a bunch of places. I have to say there was one, I don't remember who the person was, but said don't put it in rice. Mm -hmm. But every other one said put it in rice. Yeah. And I was just coincidentally was going to Best Buy to look at a phone with my husband, who's uh, Samsung, which is about five years old, mm -hmm. was just dying. And I mm -hmm. said, well, while we're in New Jersey, I'm kind of on vacation, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So we were in there, and he was looking at the phones. I said, I'm going to go over the Geek Scott yeah. And he saw my phone in Rice, and he mm -hmm. said, that's exactly what we would do. We would leave it there for, just leave it there for 48 hours. Okay. And so I'm at 48 hours right now. Okay. And was it working when you went into Best Buy? Yeah, like, did you uh, turn it well, off? What happened or? was, it worked for a little while, and then I went to put it in sleep mode, because I thought, maybe, that's what I always do. Right. I just put it in sleep mode. So, I don't know, a little before I went to Best Buy, I went to try to turn it on again, and it didn't go on. And that's when I realized I was, like, and you're it, like, uh -oh. I had a problem. Yeah. So while I was there, I said, you know, what should I do? And he said, just leave it and then try to turn it on. But I didn't want to try to turn it on at the right. time, because I talked to Christine, and she said, right. you know, you would look at it. So oh, she did, <laughs> did she? <laughs> well, she said, yeah. She said, the first thing you have to do is take the battery out. I'm like... Yeah, right, and that's I true. I don't know how to do that. That yeah, and that's that's what's tough, especially as these phones are more and more difficult to open. So the deal with rice is that uh, that's one of these kind of internet myth things, and I you know it's everywhere. I, it somebody is. just sent me a link that said you know that Consumer Reports they do a lot of testing and stuff like that. They're like, what you should do, put your phone in rice. Um, but rice isn't really a desiccant and and putting it in rice by itself isn't any different than putting it in a box of lizards I'm gonna do this cool video <laughs> I ordered some lizards and I'm gonna put it set it up I got a humidity monitor and we're gonna do a test but um, the thing that the thing that gets you with rice is that it makes you feel like you did something and then you want to plug it in and rice that's absorbent, when you get in trouble right? that's what they say in that's the, what you think from it being like in the salt shakers in the Caribbean restaurants <laughs> But I think it's really there to kind of break up the clumps more so than really absorb. So its idea of it being like a, what the word is, hydroscopic, you know, it's, it's really not. Okay, and so, uh, so this phone's been in rice. Let's take a look under the microscope. So how did you get this open? Did you do it or did Sunday do it up front? No, one of your Sunday did up front. Helpers. Okay, so one of the one of the helpers. We're gonna take off front cam and we're gonna look here on hand cam. So that so you found out that it's got the special keep out of here barber screws, yeah. right? And that so you so that's what makes it tough, and that's you really unfortunate because you, you gotta have the special tiny. little dude, right? The and little pentalope. I've had rehab supply, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll send you home with one, and uh, then uh, then we. You can open it up and you can really open it up with a small tool or your fingernails and this is what it looks so like it's hinged it doesn't right come now up. it it will it's got a little adhesive up there see there's a little bit of adhesive that's kind of still keeping it mm -hmm. but if we if we look at that 
All right, let's look here under the microscope. So you can look up front and we can look together. So let's take off uh, hand cam and now we're looking right here under the microscope. So let's take a look together with everybody else and we'll see how does this phone look so far. So let's start at the bottom. This looks great. I don't see any rust. I don't see any corrosion or anything like that. And that looks good so far. This is your battery that we want to um, that we would disconnect so we can unscrew screw A, B, you can look right up there oh, and okay. see, yep, so A and B and that'll take off that little shield and then we could disconnect your battery. This whole big thing is your battery. Okay. And then as we travel up the board, we can see here is your, where your SIM card goes inside. It locks into that little doohickey. And oh, then actually I took the SIM card out. Yeah, you can tell because it's not <laughs> okay. it's not in there, right? So it would slide right in there. That, but I just didn't. Yeah, well, you do want to. You know, it's it's. Um, we had a guy here that um, is really knowledgeable about um, drying out houses, like restoration and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, it's all about airflow, you know. So the cl the opening it up of, is really the best thing you can do. Plus, disconnect the battery because water by itself isn't a big deal. It's water plus electricity. Mm -hmm. All right, what's this? Water. Water, yeah. What's that down there? Uh, water. Yeah, exactly. So we can see that even though this has been in rice for two days, look at that. Wow, that's quite a bit of water. Straight from Barbara's toilet to YouTube. <laughs> it, was clean. it was clean water. That's funny. You know, that's like one of these things that I hear a lot. I hear a lot of like, my technician damaged your phone. It wasn't me. You know, in fact, it was even just the other day. Tim, I was like, what's up with your stents? Wasn't me. A lot of it wasn't me. That's okay. I'm and, um, so, so let's take apart. Um, let's just take this apart and see, see what we can make if we take the shields off. So that's sort of our, our next step. But I, my main goal here is for, for you and the world to understand that even if phones in rest, for two days, it doesn't matter. It's this. This looks pretty much the same as it probably did right when you took it out. Like you wow. shook it out. You did good taking out the sim tray. Good morning, guys. And if and you can guess, like, what if we just left it like this all day? What would happen? This would dry, dry out. out. Or what would be better? This paper towel or a whole thing of rice? Right. This paper towel. This paper towel. Is gonna, look at that. Wow. Look at that. That's how you dry a phone. Paper towel for the win. So let all me right. ask you this. Yes. Is the reason why people don't open their phones as they're worried about warranties and stuff like that. That's, I think that it's a lot of things. I think number one, like now if you, if you, let's say your neighbor came over today and she said, Barbara, I dropped my phone in water and you would say, oh, you got to open it up and dry it out. Don't put it in rice. That's a waste of time. And it's going to make you think you did something. So then you're going to plug it in, which, you know, if we, if we look at ones like this and we think, should I plug this phone in right now? No, it's got water in it, right? right. <laughs> so um, then you'd tell her, we got to get your phone open. Then what? How is she going to come up with the little screwdriver, right? right? That's, I think, one of the, the, big, the big things is that people just don't have the tool that you need to do to just do this. This is pretty straightforward, right? We just did those two screws to pull it up, and now we've disconnected your battery so you're safe. Now you can put this back in rice or in lizards or in front of a fan and it will dry out, right? And then you'll see what you see what you get. So the problem and the rice is getting in all Oh the yeah. Oh, oh I'm aware. Look at this one. Wow. This one was somebody had to dive for it. This is I'm showing Barbara for you guys a phone here. Let's go back to the hand cam. Uh, this is a this is a phone that was in salt water. Oh wow and it was somebody had to dive for it. So this is like seriously corroded. We can guess that that kind of corrosion happened, you know, pretty right away mm -hmm. when it's in the bottom of the ocean. And if you, if you look at it like right here, let's see, can you see what that is? I don't know if it'll tell you. Right here, well, it's hard to tell. Right there and right there. What's that? Let's look under the microscope, see if you can see what it is. This just happens to be, on my desk right now. So as we look at that phone, what is it? Salt? Nope. Oh, rice. Yes, it's <laughs> rice. See, everybody does it and it just makes so it. So it actually just, got inside the phone? Yeah, it got inside this one. 
and you know it was it's look at how burn up these two pieces of rice are from that phone wow yeah so what it does is just make a mess you know this was uh there's one funny really funny video that's out in the world where some guy is is yelling at some shop because he insists that well did you try brown rice it's gotta be brown rice oh you didn't try white rice did you and the, and the guy's like I'm, I'm not gonna fix your phone why are you telling me my phone can't be fixed when you didn't even try brown rice you don't know and that was pretty funny all right so we're gonna we're gonna just kind of take a look here where the water primarily was up in the top so let's look again up here, so I've taken off that shield, and this is where your screen plugs in. Now this is the highest voltage in the whole phone. So the battery voltage is three or four volts, but the backlight that goes into the screen is 22 volts. That's a lot, and so when you look at, oh gee, I've got 22 volts coming here, and a drop of water. You know, if that was like your house electricity, you would, you would say, turn off the electricity, <laughs> that's really dangerous. And the same thing is true, you know, here at your phone. And we can see now there's a little bit of corrosion right here in that spot. See right here? Uh -huh. See how it's like, it's, it, you did, you know, you took it out as fast as you could, but a lot of times this, it's this water plus electricity effect. See that right. corrosion right, right there on that, this right there? Yeah, had we opened it up right away, would we have stopped that is that an, That is a really, really good question. So this is actually still pretty early, you know, because it's, it's, you, you kind of came here right, o right away without letting it sit on a charger for days and days. Because that's how it kind of really goes bad. Okay. Um, because when you have water plus the battery will deplete, but if you plug it in, then you're filling it full of electricity right. while it's still wet it the whole time. Yeah, yeah so the plugging it in is really the phone killer. Mm -hmm. um, some of this damage is instantaneous. Oh, so, okay. and, wow. that's, and that's part of why the rice myth kind of sticks around. Some of the time you drop your phone in water, it, it doesn't actually get into the board. Mm -hmm. It just never does. So you take it out, you put it in rice, it works. You think, and you think, oh, the rice fixed it. But some of the time, it's instantaneous damage. Right. And then the other part of the time is a case like this. I really like this case because if you did nothing, if you just kind of left it in rice, then what's going to happen to this area? It's, it's going to keep corroding. Yeah, it's going to get worse and worse. It's going to keep right. corroding. And the more we kind of let it sit on a charger with water in this area, it's going to do bad things and get worse and worse and worse. Now, if you do open it up right away, then sometimes you can just clean off these spots of corrosion, fix parts problems, and get it to get it to turn back on. So, um, I know that Sunday told you uh, up front, we're only going to address this for data recovery, and that that is our um, our general policy. Um, but for you, for this one, I have to start my class, but I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to look at it. And we're going to see if it's actually, it looks pretty superficial right here. Sometimes what they get is a um, short circuit on the back of the board when the water, water went just on the board in this one corner. Mm -hmm. So all of this looks great, mm -hmm. which is atypical. Your battery never got wet. Your charge port never got wet. It just was a drop of water right here in mm -hmm. this area by the camera and the screen. So I'm going to start my class, but I'm going to, I'm, I can, um, hang on to this and later today we can take the board out clean it up for you and let you know if this phone might turn back on it might That's have awesome. nothing wrong with it okay that would be awesome all right thanks for being a good sport barbara oh thanks for helping educate the world yes so tell everybody don't bother put your phone in rice it makes you feel like you did something no rice no, no rice, rice. <laughs> and if you do you're gonna have your phone the water trapped in there it's gonna roll around and it's gonna Turn a recoverable board unrecoverable. So get it, get it opened up. Get it to a professional uh, as fast as you can, like Barbara did here, and they may help you out. Alrighty. Spread the word. Spread the word. All right. Thanks so much. We're gonna end stream.